Well, that launch went much easier than last time. That's a vast improvement. Well, here's a quick tour of Arwen's new trailer. You can see that it's got a raised hitch. There's a lower winch and snub post. Here are two height adjustable rollers to raise the bow. The keel rollers have been heightened and reinforced. There were side bunks, but those have been replaced with wobble roller sets. And I had 50 centimetres cut off the trailer length to create a transom overhang so that she went into the water more quickly. Finally, there are 10 inch wheels. Arwen's hull now clears the mud guards, and towing, launching, and retrieving her is far easier. early morning starts, the sea it's flat and the breezes haven't yet filled and you get these wiggly reflections. Um, there's little sea traffic, I've got the sound to myself and just a few other early birds out there, it's lovely. <laughs> It's difficult to believe that this is March. I mean, here I am on Plymouth Sound in 19 degrees Celsius and it's just coming up half past 10. tide was 10 o'clock, so the tide's just, just coming up to beginning to turn. Um, but I'm not going anywhere uh, yet. I'm hoping that if I can get out into the middle of the sound, it might be a bit windier. I've always struggled to sail R1 efficiently in very light breezes. It's nothing to do with the boat, you understand. Um, it's everything to do with skipper incompetency. Mind you, in fairness, I think today everybody's having the same problem. There just isn't any breeze. I think we're moving. Just. I mean... There isn't a lot of wake, but I think there is just the whisper of a breeze. I was planning to go over to Core Sand. I think at this rate I probably won't make it unless I start rowing. So I may have to break out the oars in a few minutes. Or I'm going to have to use the engine, which is a pity on a day like this. But we are definitely, definitely not going very far. I've 
just had a radio call from Matt Goss and his new navigator, so I'm just holding station here as he comes across to me. I'm looking forward to this. Um, I've never actually seen another navigator in reality, so I'm quite excited. The island trust are having fun today. I think this is the Gaff Yawl uh, Moosk. Um, I think she's about 58 foot oak frame and teak planked, I think. Um, she's a gentleman's cruiser, eight berth, and I think she was built in the early 1900s. Good to see them having so much fun. Well, I've just run into Matt with his navigator, uh, Chemery, and it's beautiful. It's his first time out on the water with his full set of sails, and it is an absolutely gorgeous boat, such craftsmanship, absolutely amazing. Um, poor old Darwin, I think, needs a new paint job, <laughs> at the very least. Um, but what a beautiful boat, he can rightly be proud of that. It's absolutely stunning navigator, terrific build. Do you get any idea? Yeah, no. She's lovely, isn't she? We've been trying to get over to Corsan for about 40 minutes now, but the winds are really fickle. It's making this quite difficult. I think for various reasons, we've got to be off the water mid-afternoon, both of us as well. So I suspect we're about to turn around and just head back in towards Drake's Island area. just crossing the channel um, but with light winds decided to uh, just come this side and head into the tide and slow myself right down a minute because I wasn't going to get across there in time she was picking up speed. So nice to see another navigator. Even if you're not going very far at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to head in. I've, um, I've got to look at the trailer and things, so yeah. we're not getting anywhere today. Well, it's been really good seeing you. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. yeah. And it's a gorgeous boat. Absolutely Thank fantastic you. build. Thank All right. You. It's good meeting you. Thank you. All right. You take care then. Yeah. yeah. All right. Look after yourselves. Bye. I have to say, it really made my day seeing another navigator up close. Um, I haven't improved any of my light wind sailing skills though, but never mind. fun little day sail and Matt's boat is delightful.
If you've enjoyed our little day cruise, click subscribe, hit the notification bell, and why not download a playlist or two? Fair winds. See you all out on the water sometime. Take care now.